this video, I wanted to give you a look at a Lego Batmobile lift system I've been working on. This project is all about creating that epic moment when Robin first entered the Lego Batman Batcave and saw all those Bat vehicles being lifted into the air while he wandered across the platform. What? It's the Batcave! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my I've been obsessed with that moment, and this project, I think, is one step towards creating that moment in real life. Starting with the basic structure. As some of you might have guessed already, the basic structure is built with train track. Basically, I took two, built two semicircles, and then put brick between them to make it rigid. Then on the end of each of those train track, I put platforms and Batmobiles on it. I've got wheels below here that, that roll the semicircle back and forth. Let me give you a demonstration. First, since I'm controlling this with an EV3, the EV3 is expecting that it'll start on one side. So I've got to manually move it over to one side and then I can start it. This system is meant to be used with some sort of platform. This isn't a very good looking one, but it'll, it'll work for this demonstration. The idea is that Batman can observe the lift as it comes up above the platform he's standing on. Ta-da! Whoa! You're darn right, whoa. I wanted the Batmobiles to be able to come on and off this lift system easily, but also not roll off and crash. Turns out that this Batmobile from the 1960 Batcave set had an indention in the bottom already there. I found some roof slope pieces that worked perfectly when I put them in the middle of this platform. So it can, it can rest at a pretty severe angle without rolling off. I did a similar thing with this Batman makeover Batmobile that I created. Batman! Makeover! It's from a creator set. Its design had these holes in the bottom. And I found these Technic connector pieces that fit perfectly in there. So it also can be at a severe angle and not roll off. The platforms are made out of 6x6 six six tile. So held together by some plates. The weight of the Batmobiles don't actually rest on the platform. They, they rest on the connector. So the platform was able to be very thin since it wasn't load bearing. I think that looks nice and clean. Let's take a closer look and we can take the main train track structure out and take a look. The train track structure is connected by a series of one by four brick or panels to create this smooth surface on the bottom that the wheels can run the train track up and down. Originally, I was trying to use a color sensor to calibrate the system. As you can see in here, I've got a EV3 color sensor. I was trying to pick up the yellow color at the bottom so that I could calibrate it and know when to stop, but it wasn't reliable. So I scrapped that and I'll have to figure something else out. I might use a touch sensor. Those are a lot more reliable. Let me know if some of you out there have a better idea. Let's take a look at the driving system. It's pretty simple. Two wheels on one side, two wheels on the other side. I started with just one wheel on each side and that worked okay. Um, this was a lot more stable, having the two. You've got a, one motor that drives through the same axle that the, that the mechanism is balancing on. This allows it to form to the shape of the circle. Well, that's about it. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.